The International Space Station, or ISS. The largest man-made structure in space, the ISS has countless functions, but it mainly serves as a research lab for specialized research in biology, physics, astronomy, and other ologies, all conducting experiments in microgravity. It's also the perfect place for the testing of spacecraft systems and equipment. Cough, cough, Mars missions. <clears throat> Operating in low Earth orbit, it holds the record for being continuously occupied for over 15 years. The longest expedition on board the International Space Station was 215 days and 8 hours, longer than the typical resident crew's stay, which averages about 5.5 months. Construction of the ISS began in 1998 as a joint project amongst five participating space agencies and has since been visited by at least 17 different nations of astronauts, cosmonauts and, of course, space tourists. Tai Sun Crane Bruh, do you even lift? The Tai Sun does found in the Yantai Raffles shipyard in China, the crane was designed and built for the installation of very large modules into semi-submersibles, so it has no issue moving loads of up to 20,000 metric tons, 120 meters wide and 80 meters high. The Tai Sun crane holds the world record for three of the heaviest lifts of all time. It is the world's strongest crane. Uh, wait, wait, it held. It, it held that title. The Honghai host holds that title now. Always a bigger fish. The Sea Wise Giant. With a length of 458 meters, the Sea Wise Giant Super Tanker, also known as the Knock Nevis, is the longest ship ever built. So massive that it can fit four football fields end to end on its deck. It's so big it can't navigate the Suez Canal, the English Channel or the Panama Canal. Huge. With a turning circle of two miles, just making a full stop in this behemoth requires an additional 5.5 miles of open sea. And during the Iran and Iraq war, the giant was struck by a parachute bomb and sank in shallow waters. But it did not lie there forever, because later it was raised up, repaired, and served another 13 years. And unfortunately, like all good things, in 2010, the Seawise Giant had lived out its usefulness and made its final voyage to India, where it was unceremoniously beached and scrapped for metal. The only remaining relic from this titan of the sea is its 36-ton anchor, which is currently on display at the Hong Kong Maritime Museum. The Bagger 293. This giant bucket wheel excavator was made by the German industrial company TACRAF, T-A-K-R-A-F. It's 225 meters long, it's 96 meters tall, and this little girl needs only a crew of five to move 240,000 cubic meters of Earth a day. Let's put this in perspective. So do you remember the Dark Knight Rises when Bane blows up that football field? Well, the Badger 293 just needs five people and one day, and it can make the same hole 25 meters deep. But as big as it is, the Badger's uses are limited to only the largest quarries around the world. You see, transporting this monster is not easy, and driving it anywhere simply won't work. It has a max speed of a little bit more than half a mile per hour. The Antonov AN-225 Mira. The largest plane ever built. Sporting a ridiculously large wingspan of 88.4 meters, the Antonov was completed in 1988 and named the Mira, which is Ukrainian for dream. This beast has set up to 240 world records, including transportation of the heaviest cargo, with a mass of 253 tons. The heaviest single thing had a mass of 186 tons, and the longest thing 
42 meters. Powered by six turbojet engines, it was first initially used in transporting the Burian space plane into orbit. Just think about that one for a second. It is still in service today for commercial use and reliably and quite happily carrying way oversized payloads. Big Bertha is the largest tunnel boring machine ever. Made in Japan, assembled in Seattle, USA in about 2013, it was specifically designed for the development of a highway to replace the Alaskan Way Viaduct. With a diameter of about 17 meters and a height as tall as a five-story building, this mechanical worm has 260 steel teeth and a head that weighs 1.7 tons. It can easily chew through the Seattle soil, but not so much through steel. This was clear when an 8-inch steel pipe unexpectedly got in her way and managed to damage the teeth from the male drill unit stopping Bertha dead in her tracks. A massive and unexpected rescue was undertaken in order to free Bertha from its self-imposed prison, but uh, as for the tunnel in question, it's now two years overdue and it's unclear whether the project will continue or just be abandoned altogether. The Komatsu D575A the largest bulldozer in production, the Komatsu D575A, is a beast of a tractor. Standing with a length of 38.5 feet with its turbocharged 12-cylinder diesel engine, it produces an incredible 1,150 horsepower. That's a pushing force of 485,000 pounds. It has enough oomph to move 69 square meters of material in every pass. Produced by Komatsu in Osaka, Japan, its primary use is in surface mine operations. Due to its immense size, however, the D575A Superdozer must be broken down into component form when moved from one job site to another and moving all the components requires six to eight truckloads. To date, only 17 D575As are currently in service around the globe. The Belaz 75710 is the world's largest dump truck and to date boasts the highest payload capacity ever recorded, a whopping 450 tons. With a length of over 20 meters, it's both longer and higher than two double-decker buses parked end-to-end, -end, requiring a 20-meter turning radius. Maneuvering this monster is not an easy task. With an astounding aggregate weight of 810 tons, it is heavier than a fully loaded Airbus A380 airplane. It has a pulling power of 18,626 newton meters that's 165,000 pounds per square inch. It is like the pulling power of 24 Formula One race cars. Naturally, this animal gets a little thirsty. And by a little, I mean a hell of a lot. Its fuel consumption is an estimated 1,300 liters per 100 kilometers. And like most big things, the Belaz was built with power in mind and not speed at all, topping out with a maximum 64 kilometers per hour and when fully loaded, 40 kilometers per hour. NASA's Crawler Transport, the largest self-powered land vehicle in the world. Built to simply carry rockets and space shuttles to and from the launch pad from the Vehicle Assembly Building, an epic 4.2 mile trek, this mechanical island takes 30 engineers, technicians and drivers just to operate. Designed and built by Marion Power Shovel Company, this bad boy only costs a cool 14 million US dollars and this was back in 1965. With a mass of 2,721 tons, this road hog has a top speed, unloaded, of 3.2 kilometers per hour. Loaded 
with its max weight of 8,200 metric tons, we get a flying 1.6 kilometers per hour. Incidentally, the average human walks about 5 kilometers per hour. Hmm. And in case you wanted to go for a joyride, the fuel consumption is only 296 liters per kilometer. At 50 years old, the crawler is far from being retired. In fact, since the space race is moving to a more private sector, NASA was considering selling the crawler, but instead has opted for an upgrade. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. The Particle Physics Lab in CERN Geneva is home to the world's most impressive accelerator of particles. Featuring a 27-kilometer ring-shaped tunnel that sits 175 meters underground and is composed of over 9,000 supermagnets, the scientists use the LHC to fire protons around the circular track at 99% the speed of light. Once the desired speed is reached, the particles are made to collide with each other and the resulting collision being analyzed by the most complex computer network on the planet. In 2012, thanks to the LHC, scientists confirmed the existence of the Higgs boson particle, which was first theorized by the physicist Peter Higgs in the 1960s. And back then, there was no way to test their theories. Well, before the LHC, of course. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, check us out on Twitter or Facebook for more of our top 10s. Don't forget to leave a comment and as always, subscribe.